So my name is Dylan. I'm presenting on leadership traits today. Three traits of good leaders and three traits of bad leaders. Uh, my partner, Sam, is not going to make it. I think she has the flu. So that's all the fun. <laughs> uh, so the first good trait of a leader is being efficient versus being effective. So effectiveness um, is getting the getting your task done. Um, and efficiency, I like to say, is getting your task done with fewer resources or a quicker time frame. So um, this is kind of looking at it from a management standpoint. Um, if you were trying to pick a leader for the people that work beneath you, you would want somebody that's more efficient uh, as well as being effective. So, um, that's just one. The second one is being able to delegate. Um, some managers aren't comfortable with giving their subordinates um, tasks, which should never really happen because that's kind of the way that the workplace flows smoothly. Um, so you have to uh, be able to delegate and trust your subordinates to get the job done as well as to do a good job. Uh, so that's pretty important to making sure that everything can get completed on time and, and you can have a smooth running organization. Uh, the third issue is one that was uh, talked about in uh, zero to one, I believe. Uh, it's the whole commitment issue of taking stock versus salary. So um, there's a lot of employees that won't want to work for stock in the beginning just because a lot of times stock in, in uh, privately owned companies is worthless. So um, you really want to find somebody who is committed to a long-term goal and believes in the long-term success of the company because they'll be more um, more likely to enrich the long-term value of the company, whereas somebody that's on a salary may just be coming to work every day to get the paycheck. Um, so that's a big issue there is trying to find people that really improve the long-term value of the company instead of the short-term value. So the bad, obviously, number one is poor time management. This is one of the worst things that really anybody could have as a trait. Um, I haven't. <laughs> so uh, it, it, it kind of ties into the whole efficiency and effectiveness thing. You really want to be able to get stuff done as quickly as possible. Um, you'll never have a boss that doesn't like when you hit deadlines early. So um, having poor time management can really hurt you there, especially when you have to lead uh, a group of people that rely on you and call you. Next one is know-it-alls. Um, these are the kind of people that won't really take their subordinates' advice on a certain topic because they think that they know best just because maybe their paycheck's higher or their title is more prestigious. Um, they tend to not listen to new ideas and uh, a lot of times good ideas kind of never get heard by the people that need to hear them because the boss says that he knows the right way to do it and that's not the right way to do it. Um, so that can really hurt the creativity inside the workforce. And the last one is poor communication, um, especially if you have a lot of employees that work for you or a lot of people that you're leading, because um, this doesn't have to be, I guess, a job scenario, but if you have a lot of people that you're leading, you're going to have to make sure that each one of them is on task and doing what they're supposed to be doing and also reporting to you that they're, um, that they're on the right track with what they're doing. So if you have poor communication, that's not really going to be communicated very well to each other. So um, I think that's probably less. But I wanted to ask uh, you guys if you've worked somewhere before. Uh, what were some good traits of like the bosses you had and also some bad traits or just leaders? You don't have to be like a job scenario. Who were some of the, what, what were some of the personal traits? So that was a effectiveness versus efficiency. What were some of the personal traits as leaders? What are some of the things that you want to emulate? What are some what is uh, or alternatively, what are some of the things that you don't want uh, to be as a potential CEO, CFO, C-suite person in, in your company? Go. My boss was always curious and like building things in the office and like he was big into Legos and <laughs> all kinds of stuff like that, but he was always curious about new products and new ideas so that I kind of wanted to emulate that. What are some of the bad traits? What are some people that you work for and you're like, ooh, this is a tough situation? <laughs> no, my hands went. Yeah, I agree. Okay, got it. Go. Uh, like having a really short fuse.
we would get to the choir meeting and like we would be there for the next day, which is awesome. And like we would just sing the whole time. So it was fun. Yeah. 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 I'm also the loose cannon sometimes talking to the press and <laughs> not always like uh, we had two general partners and uh, one was kind of more loose with what he was willing to say. So. So what do you think the um, so what do you think the research shows for the number one bad trait for a leader is? Pretty yeah, it's pretty pretty close. It's lack of humility. So that ties into not wanting to hear what people want to say or what how do you think that manifests itself? Um, how do you think that manifests in the uh, in the workplace? So they won't listen to what you have to say, um, and then are they going to be are they going to be like this? Be doing what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Right? Because they won't trust you. They won't they won't trust you. The lack of humility um, means that they won't trust you to get your job done. So, 